In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a project folder using Autodesk Inventor. A lot of times in Inventor, you will be creating multiple parts, and some of these parts will actually be put together later in an assembly file, depending on if you're going to actually create these parts to be an assembly. And in order for you to do that and organize all of the files and make sure they're saved to the correct location, Autodesk Inventor has built in a feature called the IPJ file, or a project folder, which can be routed directly to a network folder or a location directly on the computer's hard drive. So to get started on this, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have Autodesk Inventor open and that you're looking at the My Home window that it pops up whenever you first start um, the Autodesk Inventor program. So if you can't find Autodesk Inventor, go ahead and look on your desktop. It should look like this, Autodesk Inventor Professional. You can also locate it by going into the Start menu and typing Autodesk to locate the specific program that you'll be using today, the CAD program. Then, the next thing you will do is you will direct your attention to the top ribbon that goes across horizontally at the top of your screen. You are in the Get Started tab. Under the Get Started tab, there are three different options that you will, that you will use when you first start using Inventor. So creating new parts, assemblies, drawings, etc. Then the open folder, the open folder option will allow you to open these specific uh, objects, files that you create. And then the project folder which allows you to create, edit, or activate a workspace file. And in this case I'm going to be setting up a project folder for the Dragster design project. Because in the Dragster design project there are multiple parts or components that will later be assembled into a full model assembly of the Dragster. And all of those project files could be things like the wheels, the bushings, the axles, any other hardware like the eye hooks, um, anything else that you might see on the car body or attached to the car body can be stored in a project folder. So first we will go to projects, click on projects, and click on new. And you're going to want a new single user project, which is going to pop up in the inventor project wizard. Click next. The project name, make it whatever your project will be. I'm just going to talk, call it the dragster. As you notice, in the project workspace folder, this is where you're going to be routing all of the files that will be saved when you are creating them. So right now, mine is set to the C drive. That's the hard drive on the computer, which if you are one student who uses multiple computers um, from day to day, uh, from every day, then you want to make sure that you are saving to your H drive, the network drive, so that your files are travel with you from computer station to computer station. So in order for us to do that, I'm going to click on the three dots that say browse for project location. And then you're going to get a project location browser dialog box that you see right here. A lot of people will sometimes save to the desktop, and that's OK. But for our purposes, we want to make sure that we're saving to a network folder, which makes it easier for us to go to different computer stations. So I go to click on computer and scroll down until I find the network drive, which is the H drive. Now mine has my username here. Yours will have your student ID number. Once you find that folder, that network folder or network drive, I should say, click on the arrow next to it. And that will basically expand all the folders that are inside your H drive. What you're going to be doing inside the H drive, when you click on the H drive, the option for make new folder appears. Click on make new folder, and you want to title that one whatever the, uh, whatever the project will be. So I'm going to match that with the project folder that I created in the inventor project wizard. Okay, that's the dragster. And make sure that I'm routing it to the dragster folder. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then you'll see that the H drive, Dragster, that's the project folder. That's the route that it will take for every file to be saved correctly. Then hit Finish. Now, whenever you are going to be saving or opening new files or creating new files, you will go in and make sure that they are titled Dragster under the H drive. So I'm going to hit Done. And I will show you how to actually create a new file. So go to, you can either go to new here for new part or come up to here and click on new part. 
and at the bottom here it'll say project file normally uh, you would ch save to the default so default IPJ that's the default location but now that you've created your first project folder the default will then change to dragster so if you're a student who is working on multiple projects at one time it is very important for you to make sure that your project folders or that you are selecting the correct project folder when you create separate parts that way they are routed to the direct folder that you will need them to be so I'm going to click on dragster and then hit create once I have all of my template settings correct so standard IPT this might be English standard inch IPT so that's in inches and hit create and now the file that I'm creating this IPT part file will be saved once I hit save it'll go directly into the H drive in the folder titled dragster so that is all we will be doing in this video so all we did was make sure that we created a dragster project folder or in any case what you're creating is a project folder for the specific project that you're creating. And that is all.